Shabbat Shalom, everyone. How's everybody doing on this slightly colder than we would all like Shabbat morning yet? I was accused of, you know, optimism when I said that it was still sunny and warm inside here um, at Torah study. But I said, you know, if you can't be optimistic on Shabbat, I don't know when you can be. So I invite everyone to take a deep breath, close your eyes. And let the schmutz of your life, all of the challenges and the sadness and the hurt and all of the stressors melt away just for this time that we have together, this Shabbat, this gift that we are given every week. I promise it will be there waiting for you when Shabbat is over. So we don't need to enthusiastically hold on to it right now. Let's take the time we need to be in community to find the strength in each other that we need, the strength in prayer, and the gift of being together. So we'll begin this morning with some prayers, and we'll do some readings together. It will all be on the slides, which hopefully you can see, um, but we will continue. And if you don't know the words or can't see them, just feel free to hum along, clap along, lie, 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 whatever, it, whatever moves you. We begin with Moda Moda'ani, thanking God for bringing our souls back to us every morning and giving us our lives to live in beauty and in prayer. Moda'ani lefaneha, malachai vekaya. Shehechazarta, Binishmati Behemla Behemla Rabba Emunateha Modani Lefane Malachai Vekaya Shehazarta be an Ishmati Behemla Behemla Rabba Munateha Rabba Munateha. <clears throat> I invite everyone to please read with me. My God, the soul you have given me is pure. You created it, you shaped it, you breathed it into me, and you protect it within me. For as long as my soul is within me, I offer thanks to you, Adonai my God, and God of my ancestors, source of all creation, sovereign of all souls. Praised are you, Adonai, in whose hand is every living soul and the breath of humankind. Baruch Ata Adonai, Asher Be'adon Nefesh Kol Chai, Beruach Kol Basar Ish. We turn to our daily miracles, and we thank God for all of the things that we oftentimes take for granted. Things like the ability to distinguish day from night, for putting our feet to move on the ground. And anybody who has watched a child learn to walk knows that it is not to be taken for granted. The ability to shift our weight and move from side to side is actually a miracle, a beautiful thing that we should thank God for. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Asher natan l'safi vina l'havchin b'en yom uvein layla Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Pokea chivrim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Matir asurim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Zokaf kifufim, Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Rokah haaretz al hamayim, Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Hamechin mitzade gaver, Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, Malbisharumim, Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Hanotain le'ayef koach. 
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Hama Avir Shena Meinai Utsinu Ma Meafa Pai Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Sha'asani B'Selem Elohim Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Sha'asani B'at Chorin Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Sha'asani Yisrael. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Ozer Yisrael B'Gvura. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Oter Yisrael B'Tifara. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kidshanu B'Mitzvotav V'Tzivanu La'asok B'Divrei Torah. We read together these words of Elu Devarim. These are things that are limitless, of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world, while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early for study, morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people but the study of Torah encompasses them all. We praise God and thank God with every part of our body, with music, with song, with joy. So please join me as we sing Psalm 150. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, but take a shofar. Hallelujah, but name of the Hinoor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I invite everyone to rise if they are comfortable doing so. Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Baruch et Adonai HaMevorah Baruch Adonai HaMevorah Le'olam Lay all on fire. Yalla, lay, 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 yalla, lay, lay, lay. 
Together. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, creator of light and darkness, who makes peace and fashions all things. In mercy, you illumine the world and those who live upon it. In your goodness, you daily renew creation. How numerous are your works, Adonai. In wisdom, you formed them all, filling the earth with your creatures. Be praised, Adonai, our God, for the excellent work of your hands. And for the lights you created, may they glorify you. Shine a new light upon Zion, that we may all swiftly merit its radiance. Praised are you, Adonai, creator of all heavenly lights. Baruch Ata Adonai Yotzer Hamilrot. Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohim Adonai Shim Kevod Mahuto Leolam Behayu Hadavarim Ha Eva Asher Nohim et Saveha Hayom Aleva Veha Veshinan Tam Leva Neha Vidi Barta Bam Veshif Teha Beve Teha Uvlach Teha Vadera Uvshok Baha Ukumaha Ukshar Tam Leot Ayadaha Beha Yula Tota Fot Bene Naha Uchtav Tam Amazuza Betaha Uvi Sharaha Vayomer Adonai El Mosheli Mor Daber Albene Yisrael Vel Martalehem Vasula Hamlet Sisim Akan Faving de Hamlet Dorotam Venat Nu Altsitim hakana pentil te helet. Vehaya lahem. Let's see seat. Uritem oto. Uzhartem et comitsvot adonai. Vaasitem otam. Velota tu ru. Ahare levavchem. Vahare enechem. Asheratem zonim aharehem. Lemantis keru. Vaasi tem a comitz votai, vihi tem kedo shim lalohechem. Ani Adonai lalohechem. Asher ho saint yet hem, me eretz mitraim, liot lahem lalohim. Ani Adonai lalohechem. Adonai lalohechem emet. Together. Life without integrity is like loosely hanging threads, easily fraying from the main cloth. While in acts of piety, we learn to understand that every instant is like a thread raveling out of eternity to form a delicate tassel. We must not cast off the threads, but weave them into the design of an eternal fabric. Each day points to eternity. The fate of all time depends upon a single moment. Mi hamaha ba elima donai. Mi hamaha nedar ba kodesh. Mi hamaha ba elima donai. Mi hamaha nedar ba kodesh. No ratehilot. O se fala. No ratehilot. O say, Fala, Ado 
We rise if we are able as we turn to the Amida. Adonai sefatai tifta ufia kita hilata ha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu imoteinu Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leia Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora Elohyon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vekonei Hakol Vezocher Chasei Avot Veimahot Umevig Ulaliv Nebene Ham, Lama Anshamo Beahava, Melechoser Umoshia Umagain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magin Avraham, Beezra Tsara, Atagi Borle Olam Adonai, Mechaye Hakola Tarab the Hoshia, Mashiv Haru Ahumarid Hagashem, Mechakel Hayim Behesed, Mechaye ha kol be rachamim rabim, so mech nochlim verofe holim, umatir asurim, umekaye mamunato, lishene afar, micha mocha bal givurot, umidomela, melech me mi tu mechaye. Umat miyach Yeshua, v'ne eman atal hechayot hakom. Baruch ata Adonai, mechaye hakom. Nekadesh an shimcha ba'olam, keshim shemakti shimo tobi shme marom, kakatu v'yad neviyacha. Bekarazel zebe amar Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh Adonai tsevaot Meloho haaretz Kevodo Adir, Adirinu, Adonai, Adoninu Madir shimcha becho haaretz Baruch kevod Adonai, mim komo, echad hu Eloheinu, hu avinu hu balkeinu, hu moshienu ve hu siyashmienu, ve rachamav leinu mikolchai, ani Adonai Eloheichem. Im lo Adonai le'olam, Eloha yichsiyon, le'dor v'dor, hallelujah. Le'dor v'dor nagig do'otacha, u'lenetzach netzach in kedushat chanaktish, v'shiv hacha Eloheinu mipinu lo yamush, Leolam ba'ed Baruch ata Adonai Ha'el ha'kadosh
everyone to please rise as we turn to our Torah service. Imitzion te tzei Torah, te tzei Torah, udevar Adonai mirushalami. Imitzion te tzei Torah, Say Torah, Udevar Adonai Mirushala, Ayi Kimitzion Shema Yisrael Adonai Yalohinu Adonai Yalohinu Eho Delohinu, Gado Adonidu, Gado Shemo, God Lul Adonai Eti, Uneromama Shemo Yasta. He meets the old Torah. Say Torah, Udevar, don't know me, Rushala. He meets the he meets the young, Tate say Torah, Tate say Torah, Udevar, Adonai, Mirushala, Yai, Lai, 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 Please be seated. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. In just a moment, I am going to read from the beginning of Parshat Shemot. Well, not exactly the beginning, starting with verse 15, but very near the beginning. So in this Torah portion, we see the beginning of our story in Exodus in the next phase after the immediate life of Joseph. So in these first few verses, we talk about how Joseph and all of his immediate descendants pass away. And then a new Pharaoh rises up in the land of Egypt who doesn't know Joseph and doesn't know his story and doesn't know all of the things that Joseph did for the Egyptian people. And so looking at the numbers of the Israelites who had grown and been fruitful and multiplied, they are scared of them. And it seems that the best way to 
make sure that they're on their side would be to enslave them because they're worried that um, when they are in war and when enemies come, that the Israelites will rise up against them. And as we talked about in Torah study, it seems it would have been more, um, it would have made a little bit more sense if they would have tried to say, what would make you feel at home here so that we could have, you know, embraced you and made sure that if the, if the time came that we were at war, um, that you would want to be part of this community. But instead they say, nope, let's make them slaves. And, um, and then Pharaoh issues this decree. So I'm going to read a little bit um, from verse 15 and then start starting there. And then we are going to talk a little bit about um, what we learn in those verses. So I'd like to ask if we can all um, take part in the Aliyah together. So on three, we'll start. Achad shayim shalosh. Barechu et Adonai hamvorah. Baruch Adonai hamvorah leolam vahed. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher bachar banu mikol ha'amim. Benatan lanu et torato. Baruch ata Adonai no tein ha'torah. Yomer Melch Mitzrayim, the Milia dot ha Ivrit, Asher Shem Hazot, Shifra Vishem ha Hashemit Pua, Vayomer Bayal Dechen et ha Ivriot, Vayuritem al ha Anavim, Im Ben Hu Hamuten, Otov, Im Bat Hu Behaya, Vayitran Mayitra an Hamayit. Hamil dot et ha Elohim, the lo asuk asher devar alehen, melech mitzraim, the tit chayen et hayeladim. The king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, one of whom was named Shifra and the other Pua, saying, When you deliver the Hebrew women, look at the birth stool. If it is a boy, kill him. If it is a girl, let her live. The midwives, fearing God, did not do as the king of Egypt told them. They let the boys live. The blessing after Torah reading. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu ma'alam Asher natan lanu Torah temet v'chaye olam nata betochinu Baruch ata Adonai no tain ha Torah. So I'd like to talk a little bit about this section this morning, the section where we learn about Shifra and Pua. The midwives who had what we learn is omets lev, courage of the heart, the strength of the heart that allowed them to speak out and to do um, what humanity demanded of them to do, what it meant to be a human, what it meant to say that they were not going to listen to the decree of Pharaoh and kill the boys, but instead they were going to do what was in their hearts and to make sure that the that all of the children that they birthed were allowed to live. And one of the things we talk about in this section is what, what courage it must have taken to defy Pharaoh. Pharaoh who enslaves an entire people, who doesn't hesitate to say kill children because they pose a threat to us. And yet these women stood up to Pharaoh said, we're not going to do that. And when called in to face Pharaoh, I mean, I would be a little bit nervous if I was called in to face Pharaoh. Instead, they had the presence of mind to say, oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. The problem is not us. The problem is these Israelite women. They are kechayot. They are like animals. They are vigorous. And they give birth so quickly that by the time we get there, it's done. We don't have, we don't have any choice in the matter. And, and Pharaoh, as you know, reveals, reveals a level of foolishness here because obviously not knowing anything about childbirth says, oh, okay, that makes sense, right? And 
the Israelite are grateful, but it also says that God then favors Shifra and Pua and, and multiplies their houses. Now there's lots of debate about if Shifra and Pua are Egyptian women or if they're Hebrew women, or if they were Egyptian women who then embraced the Israelite culture. But the questions become, what does it mean and does it matter? Does it matter if they are Israelite women or Egyptian women? It takes omet lev, courage of the heart, either way. It takes the strength to say that we are gonna do what's right, not just what we are told. And as we think about this cultivation of omets lev, this cor courage of the heart, which is a Musar practice, we have to think about what is the spectrum of which that trait is cultivated. When we know in our hearts that something is right and that we should do it, how do we know that we are doing it for the right reasons? How are we called to be like Shifra and Pua and yet know that we're doing it not for fame or for glory, but because it is actually the right thing to do? So I'd like to read a little section of this um, social justice Torah commentary that I think helps give me, or not social justice Torah commentary, Musar Torah commentary, excuse me, that helps give me a little bit of insight as to the things I need to think about. And I hope might give you some insight about what you might think about as you make these kinds of decisions. Rabbi Amy Eilberg says, on the one, on other hand, the call for justice can be an adrenaline surge a rush of angry energy born of psychological components disconnected from the people on whose behalf we wish to act. When we are driven by impulsive boldness that is unsoftened by the energies of the heart, we run the risk of crusading for our own glory rather than for the greater good. Such boldness is propelled by our own needs rather than devotion to God's desires for the world. Discerning the path of omet's love, courage born of love and devotion, is a delicate dance for us especially in times when moral challenges surround us. But the tradition gives us models and directives to guide our determination to boldly do our part in creating a more just and loving world. And so I invite us to consider this on this Shabbat. We often talk about the brokenness of the world, the need to stand and act and to know how to discern what is right and what we are called to do. And in those moments, I... I hope that we look to Shifra and Pua. I hope that we look to these women that oftentimes are overlooked in the story of the Israelites escape from Egypt. We talk about Moses and Miriam and Aaron and how courageous and wonderful they are. And they are, they are courageous and wonderful. But there are people that discerned for themselves the right path to take, had the courage of heart, knew the way that was going to help humanity, not for their own fame and their own glory, but because that is what the world demanded of them. That is what God demanded of them. And most importantly, it's what they demanded of themselves. So as we look at the world around us, noting the brokenness, noting all of the ways that we are called to fix it, I hope that we remember the name Shifra and Pua and allow them and their courage to guide our courage. Shabbat Shalom. Is going to, as we have the Torah in front of us, we say a blessing for those in our community that are in need of healing. Healing of mind, healing of body, healing of spirit. As a community today, we are praying for Susan Alexander, Susie Anderson, Hal Arnold, Virginia Becker, Tony Baraldi. Jean Braskow, Lisa Brunkhorst, Hildardo Carrera, Sandy Christofferson, Kevin Cooper, Ariana Elnis, Rabbi Sim Glazer, Jody Goldstein, Robbie Hoskovic, Judy Kaiman, Karen Levin, Mike Liddy, Mario Lopez, Gary Marshall, Brandy Matson, Emily McWhorter, Carmen Munn, Brian Nog, Pedro Comey Olympio, Nadine Ostro, Karen Euler, Wendy Passer, Gail Peterson, Jamie Poole, Linda Redler, Steve Redler, Samuel Rosinski, Emily Sachs, George Sachs, Gregory Sachs, Steve Seglin, Linda J. Sherman, Dee Dee Spiegel,
Sarah Jane Tietzel, Laura J. West, Barb Wig, Brent Wine, and Kate Yule. If there are others that we would like to pray for this morning, I invite you to share their name, either aloud if you are in person or in the chat if you are joining us online. Thank you, Marlon. Mel is praying for Sheldon Bavendor. We join together and pray for a refuah shlema, a complete healing. Misha beira avoteinu mekor habraha leimoteinu. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mishabera Imotinu Mekor Habraha Leotinu Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of the body, the renewal of the spirit, and let us say, Amen. Baruch atah Adonai rofeh hacholim. We pray for a complete healing for all those we hold in our hearts. I invite everyone to please rise as we return the Torah to the Ark, if you are able. It's high in here. La mahazikim ba, the tom hecha meushar, the raheha darche noam, the honetivoteha shalom, ashivenu adon. Please be seated. We turn our thoughts to those who are no longer with us, but who we remember and hold in our hearts and whose memories guide our steps each and every day. If I say the name of a loved one, I invite you to please rise. In our community, we are in Shiva the first seven days of mourning for Lawrence Lauren Dexter Deal and we remember the recent passing of Sally Teltner. We are in Shloshim the first 30 days of mourning for Adam Skog, Arnie Weintraub. And we remember the yard sites of Herman Abraham, Bernice Epstein Adler, Marshall Becker, Sanford Isidore Brophy, Edward Irwin Seekin, Samuel H. Chapman, Anna Lee Cohn, John Arthur Farber, Bruce J. Goldstein, Henry Hiller, Ray Jacobson, Goldie Joseph, Marcel Kasner, Sarah R. Krasny, Jesse Levin, Evelyn T. Levy, Bessie S. Levy, Stanley Lewin, 
Joseph Lipton, Sarah Milder, Benjamin Bernard Packer, Dennis B. Pastor, M.D., Harry H. Priesman, William A. Rakusen, Dr. Merle N. Riffs, Franklin Paul Rogers, Rita M. Rosenblum, Stella S. Rosenthal, Edith R. Siegel, Theodore M. Selden, Elizabeth Singer, Debbie Joe Tatelman, Anne Milder Taskman, Milton R. Wessel, Leonard L. Wolpa, and Tilly Wright. If there are those that you're remembering whose name I have not said, please feel free to share their name with us, either aloud or in the chat. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Rabbi Paul. I invite everyone who is comfortable and able to do so to please rise as we say the Mourner's Kaddish together. Yikadal v'yikadash shemei rabah v'alma divrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayehon uv'yomehon v'chayeh d'chol b'y Yisrael v'agala uv'yizman kariv v'imru amen. Yehe shmei rabba mevorach le'olam ulame amaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yipa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shmei d'kudasha v'richu la'ela minkol birchata v'shirata tushbechata v'nechamata d'amiran be'alma v'imru amen Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya v'chayim alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen Ose shalom bimromav, hu yaase shalom, aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol yoshvei tevel, ve'imru, amen. Zichronam livracha, may their memories always be for a blessing, we say together, amen. Please be seated. Before we conclude with Olam Hesed, we are going to have a couple of announcements. And forgive me, my voice is still healing, if you heard any time, so... Okay, so first of all, I want to say thank you to Scott for all the work behind the scenes to make services happen, to Jay, who is back in the tech room, making sure our AV goes the way it needs to go, um, and for all of you for coming to share Shabbat morning with us this morning. It's really nice to get to have this, this moment together. So Tu Bishvat is coming up, and we have planned a really wonderful multi-generational Tu Bishvat Seder for February 5th at 11.15 a.m. It's going to involve a lot of exciting um, opportunities to try new fruits, to learn about the Kabbalistic notions of how those fruits share their qualities and what we can learn from them and celebrate the New Year's of the trees. So please RSVP by January 27th. Um, we have two new adult education opportunities that are coming up. Rabbi Azrael will be teaching about familial responsibilities on January 22nd and 29th. And Rabbi Appel will be teaching online about the Book of Legends on January 31st and February 14th. Um, please see our website and announcement for timing and information on all of those things. Next Saturday at 7 p.m., um, we have a really wonderful opportunity. My dear friend, Maharat Rory Pickernice, who a Maharat is a spiritual leader ordained by um, Yeshivat Maharat, which is um, an institution that ordains women as spiritual leaders um, in an Orthodox capacity. So they serve many modern Orthodox congregations. She is the Jewish Community Relations Council um, Executive Director in St. Louis. And she is coming here to do a training for our Community Relations Council for their board. And in doing so, she's also going to be um, coming here for the weekend and the Shabbat leading up to it. So next Saturday at 7 p.m., she is going to be at the, J uh, the JCC to participate in a conversation about racial justice and her experience working in that area in St. Louis um, and in Ferguson. So please join us. And we invite you to save the date for Purim. We have exciting events planned for Shabbat on March 3rd and a carnival on March 5th. We also are going to begin our Mishloach Manot opportunities to share the celebration and give gifts to our community and neighbors. So that is just a small sampling of all of the things that are coming up. Please talk to um, me, to Rabbi Appel, to any staff members, to any board members um, to get more information or if you want to get involved. 
So um, we're going to begin conclude with Olam Chesed. I invite everyone to please join me as we talk about how we can build our world from love. And I think about this this prayer, and I think about this charge, especially in light of our tour portion this week. If we continue to do the things with Omet's love, courage of the heart, then the world will also mirror that. Olam chesed ibane yada lai 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 yada lai lai Olam chesed ibane yada lai 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 yada lai lai Olam chesed ibane yada lai 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 yada lai lai Olam chesed ibane yada lai 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 yada lai lai I will build this world from love yada lai 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 yada lai lai and you must build this world from love. Yada dai 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 yada dai dai. And if we build this world from love, yada dai 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 yada dai dai. Then God will build this world from love. Yada dai dai dai. Yada dai dai. Please join us in the community court for Kiddush and Motsi. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for being with us this morning.